Hello, everyone. Uh, today, on behalf of my team from Jozef Stefan Institute, uh, I'm going to talk about data analysis and agent-based simulation of uh, online chats. Uh, in the first part of my talk, um, in the first part of my presentation, I'm going to talk about uh, Emo Dialog experiment. Uh, this experiment was done by uh, Martin Skovron from MoFi um, <clears throat> as a part of the Cyber Motion project. Uh, so I will not go into details of this experiment because I believe that Martin will mention it during this conference. I will just talk about uh, results we obtained and analysis we performed. In the second part, we introduce an agent-based model of chats uh, with emotional agents and uh, bots with uh, spe specific uh, features. Uh, this model was uh, uh, developed for the uh, Ubuntu chat uh, channel that we have previously studied. And uh, in the third part, um, I'm going to, uh, we, we conducted an agent-based simulation, uh, but with an input from uh, this AMO dialog experiment. So we took users from, the, from this experiment and put them on the evolving network uh, in order to see the influence of uh, emotional bots on, on these users and on the whole system. <coughs> Uh, uh, agent-based model was developed by um, Milan Shuakov and uh, my mentor Bosika Tadic and I would like to thank uh, Martin Skovron for uh, collecting the data. Uh, okay, uh, here I will give you just the short description of the data we have. Um, <clears throat> so, um, different experimental situations are considered in which uh, users communicate uh, with their avatars uh, with uh, three different realization of affect listeners or emotional bots. Uh, so we consider positive, negative, and neutral bot. Uh, in, um, <clears throat> in communication with, uh, with, uh, with bot, user, users reveal their, uh, their emotions that can be classified. So for, every, uh, for each exchange message, we have valence and arousal. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> our analysis is um, actually uh, uh, focused on uh, studying behavior of, of these users. So I forgot to mention in the experiment that there is a fixed number of users, 91 users. Uh, so we study behavior of these 91 users in different uh, environment, in the uh, uh, dyadic environment and in the multi-user environment. First, the, we studied the interaction uh, with uh, these 91 users uh, with um, <clears throat> positive, negative, in communication with positive, negative, in neutral bot uh, using time series analysis. So we <clears throat> consider time series of valence uh, uh, for each emotional bot. So considering time series of valence, we were able to, to obtain the, a different uh, uh, um, uh, different uh, communication patterns for um, uh, for these uh, users in communication for each both separately, um, <clears throat> and in the second part, as I already said, uh, we put these uh, these experimental users into an agent-based model uh, of chats that is developed for Ubuntu chat channel, but with an input of uh, valence and arousal from. Uh, emotional bots from the dialog, uh, Emo Dialog experiment. Uh, is, and the aim is actually to see the, the influence of uh, interactive emotional bots on these 91 users and on the whole system. <coughs> um, here on the, in the top picture you see the, the time series of valence for a few users in communication with neutral, positive and negative bot. Uh, and in the bottom picture, you see the um, plot, scatter plot of um, valence and uh, arousal for all m exchange messages in communication with uh, neutral, positive, and negative both. Here are the different colors. Uh, I showed you this because um, you see that there is no major difference <coughs> between uh, these three types of uh, emotional real realization of bots. And this will affect uh, our later uh, results. <clears throat> okay. Uh, in order to see how uh, users, uh, how users are grouping according to their emotional uh, behavior uh, 
in communication with each uh, boat individually, uh, we can uh, we perform one uh, 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 standard uh, analysis here that is consisted of a few steps that I will explain. Uh, first, we um, construct a correlation matrix uh, for each, uh, in the case of each bot, positive, negative, and neutral, in the following way. So the elements of the correlation matrix, Cijji, are calculated as a Pearson correlation coefficient between time series of valence for each pair of users, i and j. Uh, uh, so you see here in the picture the three different uh, correlation matrix. Uh, so correlation matrix with uh, positive uh, of users with communication with positive, negative, and neutral both. Uh, the next step is a standard filtering procedure of these correlations uh, that actually, actually serves to increase the difference between the real cor correlations and uh, the noise. Uh, so each uh, element of the correlation matrix, Cij, we multiply by uh, the factor that we calculate as a co Pearson correlation coefficient between the vectors of rows, i and j of the correlation matrix. In that way, we obtain filtered uh, correlation matrix. Uh, <coughs> uh, and the last step is actually uh, to graphically represent these correlations. Uh, by mapping them on, into onto network, uh, <clears throat> so if the correlation between the pair of users i and j is bigger than the some threshold value, we put a link between these two uh, users. In this way, we obtain three different uh, networks: user uh, network of 91 users in communication with positive bot, for example. Uh, you see that in all three cases, uh, there is a, a, a network have, networks have a community structure with, um, uh, for example, five communities in the case of positive and negative bot, and the four communities in the case of neutral bot, uh, meaning that users in the same community um, uh, express their emotions in the same way in communication with that particular bot. So users in the same community are co colored in the same color. <coughs> um, okay, now I will move on to explain to you how the interactive channel, what, what the interactive channel looks like. Uh, so <coughs> we consider the data collected from Ubuntu chat channel. Ubuntu channel is a specified channel for Ubuntu users. Uh, the uh, topics on this channel are mostly computer related and in the data we have um, time of interaction for each user, unique index uh, of, uh, for, for all, unique indexes for all users and emotional content of each message uh, given by valence and uh, arousal. <clears throat> the major difference between this data set and the one uh, I previously described is that um, <clears throat> that here uh, users can interact with each other, not only with the boat, but with the boat, but with each other. And the details of that, that interaction are, are uh, for example, users can uh, post a message on the channel, or they can uh, directly write a message, send a message to another user with known ID. Uh, both uh, here is uh, in the in this data set from 2009 uh, year, year we have one bot present uh, in the channel um, both can be uh, activated uh, in this two following in these two uh, ways the, in the first way we a user can directly address to the bot using some uh, keywords uh, and the bot can reply with the with the specific um, um, with prepared answer, and in the second uh, case, the <coughs> someone can write a message on the channel, and some <coughs> uh, someone else of the active uh, users can see that message and, and can uh, redirect that message to a bot that can also reply to that user. Uh, uh <coughs> Uh, by mapping the user, uh, user to user interaction can be mapped onto a network. You see the one example of Ubuntu network here. Uh, in the middle are very active, um, <coughs> uh, core of very active 
uh, users uh, that, play, that play a role of moderators on the channel, uh, with, uh, also with a uh, bot. Bot is also among them. Uh, <coughs> so we published the uh, analysis of these networks. Uh, here I will just mention that uh, some of the properties of, of this uh, network is that network has a hierarchical structure and uh, uh, dissortative mixing, mixing and a wide range of uh, <coughs> uh, topo uh, different topological quantities that have power law. <coughs> Here below, in, below this picture you see the, I showed you the one also very important uh, quantity, uh, it's uh, time series of charge. Charge is defined, uh, so having the valence in each uh, message uh, we can uh, we can count uh, how many positive uh, and negative messages are there in the specific time being. So here the, here is the charge of the uh, Ubuntu system, <coughs> Ubuntu channel. As you can see, um, there are mostly positive uh, charges, mostly positive during time, and uh, also our analysis from time series showed the the emergence of collective behavior of these users. Uh, now I will move on to, um, to the agent-based model that we developed for this uh, data I explained for Ubuntu channel. Uh, agents in our model representing users and moderators have the following uh, attributes. So each agent, have, um, each agent has a unique ID and status uh, that can be active or inactive and uh, emotional variables uh, given by uh, valence and uh, arousal uh, that are dynamical variables, meaning that they are changing over time uh, <clears throat> according to the nonlinear maps that I will show you uh, later. And activity profile of each agent can be uh, inferred from empirical data. So, uh, for example, the uh, total number of comments given from the cumulative distribution of, uh, of number of comments, then, then delay time distribution, then probability G, that is probability that uh, the, the user writes a message to another <coughs> user. <coughs> and uh, the major difference between uh, agent and the bot is uh, that, is that uh, um, emotional variables are fixed for, uh, for a bot. Uh, so we can fix emotional variables by to con some constant value or we can uh, uh, set the, this valence and arousal uh, from outside. For example, we will his, uh, we'll see here that we will use the valence and arousal from a dialog experiment as an input uh, for that uh, agent base for this agent based model. <coughs> and the whole system is um, uh, driven by the arrival of new users, uh, given by the time series PFT. Uh, so the number of new users in the time being in the time being of uh, one minute here. Uh, and the interaction rules are as in the real channel I explained from the data. <coughs> uh, these are some parameters, input parameters for our agent-based model uh, that are inferred from high resolution empirical data. You see in the left picture, uh, the, the, in the left figure, there is a, uh, in the green line represent the cumulative distribution of total number of comments. And the red and black line are uh, delay time distribution for users and moderators. You see that there is a difference between these two uh, distributions. And in the inset, you see the, the uh, time series uh, of new users that uh, uses as a dri to drive system. Uh, we use this time series to drive system. And uh, in the right picture, you see the uh, 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 probability G. As I said, uh, users can interact by posting a message or occasionally they can um, uh, redirect uh, this message to another user with the probability G that is given as a function of total number of comments. So these uh, parameters actually describe the um, activity profile of each agent. <coughs> um, agents' uh, emotional uh, states can be, uh, uh, we calculate emotional, uh, agents' emotional state with this uh, uh, nonlinear uh, maps. Nonlinear terms are uh, considered only if the agent is active. Uh, 
Uh, otherwise, the maps are just relaxing uh, towards zero with different uh, rates, this described by gamma, gamma A and gamma V here. <coughs> Uh, coefficients are D1, D2, and C1, C2 are just the properties of the map. And the uh, uh, network environment affects, uh, um, uh, affects uh, with, uh, with these two type of fields, uh, individual, individual field HI, that is a unique property of each agent in changes with time, and uh, mean field <coughs> that uh, affect all agents equally, and they depend on the active part on the network as follows. Uh, <coughs> for example, you see the individual local field for arousal for uh, agent I. Here the summation goes over uh, all incoming uh, links of that agent. So the summation is over all arousal of all messages within the given time window uh, T0, properly, uh, properly normalized. Uh, and, and this individual field, as I said, is a property of each agent and it, it changes uh, with time and also depend on the, uh, on, the, um, on the current number of connections for that uh, particular agent. Um, and the similar uh, main field is calculated uh, that this summation goes over all uh, accessible messages uh, on the channel. <clears throat> also properly uh, normalized. <clears throat> um, okay, here are some results from agent-based model and the real data that we compare. Uh, as you can see, we reproduce the, the core of active users or moderators, active agents here. Um, <clears throat> and bottom picture here left, uh, you see the uh, that uh, we also obtained the, the topological uh, uh, quantities uh, that are very similar from the data and the agent-based model. The slopes of in and out degree distribution are, are uh, similar and we also reproduce dissortative mixing from this uh, network from agent-based model. <coughs> uh, okay, this is, um, I will move on to the last part of my uh, talk in which we implemented the time series of emotional bots from a modal experiment uh, into an agent-based model of chats. Uh, <clears throat> so we, we took these 91 user, users from the uh, a modal experiment and we put them on the uh, evolving network uh, so that they can receive an input uh, of valence and uh, arousal from from the emotional bots from emodialog experiment, while uh, to others uh, both is uh, neutral. <clears throat> um, we also consider this experiment uh, with uh, uh, different uh, emotional realizations of both, so in the case of positive, negative, and neutral. So we wanted to see how these um, communication patterns are changed under this circumstances. So when, uh, when users not only communicate with both, but there is an influence of the whole network. <clears throat> uh, and we also uh, calculated the total charge uh, on the network in order to see how, uh, in order to measure the influence of both on the, on the whole network uh, from agent-based model. <clears throat> uh, and here are some, uh, here are results from the agent-based model in the top picture, you see that uh, we so we repeated the, the same procedure from the beginning by creating a correlation uh, matrix uh, for 91 users. And as you can see, the maximum two communities are obtained. <coughs> uh, and in the case of a negative bot, a neutral bot, the users are uh, homogenized and under the influence of, on the, net, of the network. Um, <coughs> Uh, you can see I also represented this uh, modularity structure with color bars by coloring users uh, uh, by their index uh, if they belong to the same communities. So the, you see the, for, for example, for the positive bot, you see the green community and the red community and the uh, users from the red and the green community. Uh, in order to uh, compare these results with the results from the data, 
we increased the modularity resolution in order to obtain two, also two uh, uh, communities. Um, <coughs> and here are the uh, results from the data. Now uh, we wanted to measure the, uh, in order to measure the influence of uh, uh, both uh, from the Asian-based model, we introduce a measure that will uh, tell us how many uh, users uh, are present in, for example, in the red community uh, from a positive bot uh, from the Asian-based model and in the red community from the data, uh, obtained from the data. <coughs> uh, so we introduce a uh, uh, community overlap, so that tells us how many users are uh, present in both communities at the same time. <coughs> so, for example, if you uh, make a, a community overlap between green community from the data and the green community from agent-based model, you obtain, for example, overlap over 0.4. Uh, what is interesting here is that the biggest community uh, for the negative, in communication with negative both, has the smallest, um, uh, has the smallest overlap. <coughs> um, <coughs> and this is uh, the, uh, we show here the, the charge of in the presence of the charge of the total system in the presence of uh, positive, negative, and neutral both, and also when when the both is uh, emotionally uh, inactive. Um, <coughs> so in the uh, uh, in the case when there is no emotional both in the in the system, the total oh, the total overall charge. Is, has the smallest uh, uh, values, so the presence actually uh, of positive, negative, and neutral both increases the, the total uh, over uh, the increases the overall charge of the system. Uh, as you can see, the charge is also positive, uh, which is with uh, uh, agreement uh, from the from the from the real data. <coughs> and. Uh, uh, these are conclusions from conclusions from uh, Emo Dialog experiment is that users interaction uh, with bots are, group, are grouped according to the same emotional uh, I would say same emotional profile or the same way how they express their emotion in communication with bot and uh, conclusions from agent based model from general agent based model we saw how the model can reproduce the behavior of users from Ubuntu channel. And with agent-based model with experiment, uh, we saw how 91 agents are actually hom uh, homogenized under the influence of network, and the negative bot has more uh, is more efficient in modifying emotional state uh, in the community of 91 uh, agents here. Thank you. Sentiment analysis. But then Thanks. human human interactions okay. were absent in, in the experiment. No, users with, with their avatars communicate with uh, with emotional bots so in that in that way and indirectly they actually communicate. Mm -hmm. There's no watching. Okay. Are there other questions? No? Okay. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you.